next video thought I'd cover a couple of things <clears throat> we're gonna head back because I gotta have some fun I'm tired of working on the stupid trip uh, got uh, pretty much all the supplies in uh, you know but uh, we're gonna head back to the uh, uh, sunny hill south trail and I'm gonna cut my way through just like I did in uh, Silver Springs and uh, you know I got the weed eater out it's ready to roll uh, just thought I'd uh, cover a couple of things. I took the bidet off in the in the master bath, and uh, the washers were just garbage. And uh, so now I got to head into Ace Hardware to pick up some new washers. Uh, I've been blowing all this rock out because <clears throat> I got to get everything cleaned up before I leave on the on the uh, on the journey. Uh, you can see, see right here. This is what I'm talking about. See, if I leave all this in the rock. That'll all turn to dust, and, uh, and then I'll have weeds galore. <clears throat> so, and then, of course, I am going to pull out these tomato plants. Uh, I wanted to show you this, because uh, this would be important to anybody. Um, this is my emergency water supply, the rain barrel, which uh, you can see the house through right there. I'm going to have to clean that before I get going. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, unfortunately, because the roof, the, uh, the sand off of the shingles, gets down into that rain barrel and uh, so you have to clean it out about once a year uh, plus it, you do get a lot of um, uh, debris and, and things down in that rain barrel and uh, so it's real important if you want an emergency water supply which is what that's all about to clean that out um, I mean am I getting everything done before I go no I uh, you can look here I mean this is a jungle <laughs> but you know I don't care I mean I, I'll just leave it before I go, but I, it was important to me to to have that emergency water supply taken care of before I get on the uh, 10,000 mile journey um, So anyway, so, but yeah, we're gonna have a day and I, I call it fun. I mean, it's, it's actually community service I'm looking forward to getting back to uh, To working. Let's get this around to working on the uh, <clears throat> That trail and uh, we'll cut our way through because we've had some dry weather and uh, that was one of the big issues with that uh, Sunny Hill South Trail was it was uh, it was too wet to hike. And uh, you know, that's what I said, life is a balance or life is progression, however you want to look at it. Uh, you know, so I knew that, you know, once the other bidet broke, I had to fix the, the master bath. Well, I didn't have to fix it. I just wanted to clean it and make sure everything was, was good to go there. Um, you know the rain barrel uh oh, by the way i did drain the uh the hot water heater that's real important we talked about that you know be sure and flip that circuit breaker you don't don't expose the rods in there and uh the, the there wasn't much sediment in there so that was a good thing uh, even though they told me i had hard water and they wanted me to spend two or three thousand to put in a, a soft water uh system i didn't need it <clears throat> it's been almost a year since i put that hot water heater and there was no sediment that i saw hardly at all uh when i drained it so uh, we're knocking it out piece by piece. There you go. So I forgot to mention this, uh, even though I have that yard service, <clears throat> you can see this needs weed eating before I get on the trip. <clears throat> and uh, there's other spots that are even worse than that. So that's what the cut my way through a trail, uh, but also to weed eat the yard. Um, I forgot to mention, um, I got a, another tube of seam seal it, uh, so I've, I've got that packed away, and then I got um, also uh, another uh, another thing of bear spray. I got that uh, for the trip, so now I've got, uh, well, I got three of them, but one I'll be leaving here at the house, uh, you know, with the motorcycle. I always just keep it down in the in the seat there for when I'm hiking, and uh, so you can see we're, we're knocking it out. We're knocking it out for the trip one by one one by one so today i'm hiking the uh florida trail right next to baseline you know in between baseline and santos because i wanted to see uh if the trail crew's been out i mean because we are heading up into um you know the, the winter months which is when you want to hike the florida trail and uh just for central floridians uh the trail crews have been out the trail is well maintained and hikeable uh although i did get bit you know by something on my ankle but uh oh well uh but i you know other than that and i haven't run into too many cobwebs 
or spiders because uh, it indicates to me that probably other people have hiked this trail because uh, otherwise I'd be running into uh, spider webs. So with that out of the way, um, just want to uh, in the in the in the uh, comment in the um, description below, I'm going to put a link. <laughs> Joe Pags, I, I you know he's he, he's a talk show host. You might not know who he is, uh, you know, and uh, uh, he's put out a um, a song, a parody on uh, "We Will Rock You." And instead it says let's go brandon <laughs> and i was laughing my buns off and listening to it and i can't wait to get home and find it on the internet because i didn't get to hear the whole thing uh so uh i'll put a link to it below and you got to check it out uh so you know like i said i wish i could get a let's go brandon shirt but uh i got to have one with a pocket <laughs> so um so this is just a brief uh video uh I think we're we're seeing now, you know, that the, uh, you know, unfortunately they they dragged us down with them. You know, the Democrats now are going to feel the pinch. You know, I'm seeing almost four dollars a gallon here in Florida, and I've been telling y'all what ever since Biden took office, I said he will get the gas prices up to six dollars a gallon on his uh, socialist, Marxist, uh, communist agenda. And, uh, you know, that's the Green New Deal, baby. This is what you voted for if you're a Democrat. And uh, so, you know, I don't think they look out for their own self-interest. And I don't think they pay much attention to what's going on in, the, in Washington, D.C. And that's true of uh, independents and Republicans, you know. Uh, but you know what? It's all coming home to roost, people. They're going to feel the pinch just like you are, unfortunately, you know. We knew what was coming. If you watch my videos, they they didn't. Uh, I think bacon now has doubled in price. Uh, so you know, everywhere you turn. And uh, did I prepare for it as best I could? Yes, it did. You know, I got that Prius Prime. In fact, today I drove it all the way here to the park uh, on the battery. I didn't burn it but one ounce of gas. So let it hit six dollars a gallon. It is not going to affect me. It is probably going to affect you. It's going to affect my Democrat wife. You know, she's getting 22 miles to the gallon. And I know what she's going to start wanting. Because she's a Democrat. She's going to be saying, oh, well, you got to give me some money out of the, the joint budget. And I'm going to say, nope, can't do it, man. This is what we use to pay the bills. You know, if, we, if you want electricity, you know, you're going to have to cover your own gas prices. And I warned her repeatedly. I said, you know what, you need to get out there. Because uh, we got, uh, we have to take out a certain amount each year from our, our, for, our IRAs, uh, you know, for tax reasons. Um, and so she's, she had plenty of money to get a car while they were available, one getting better gas mileage. And I encouraged her to do it, and I didn't feel it was my responsibility. Uh, you know, really, I just like to get down to a one-car family. And I will encourage that when I get back from my 10,000-mile trip. Um, so speaking of the 10,000 mile trip, I, today I picked up some washers for the, uh, the toilet because I took it apart and I cleaned it, the, the master bedroom, and I've already cleaned the other bathroom. So uh, you can see I'm just knocking it out one piece at a time. I like to promote my future videos. I'm going to head back to Sunny Hill, uh, hopefully tomorrow. I got to see what the weather forecast is because I don't know. And uh, I'm going to cut my way, I'm going to try to cut my way through on the south trail with my weed eater and, uh, and my, um, and my um, uh, clippers, you know. And uh, we'll see if we can get that, that trail in on the videos before I get on the road. Because i got to have some fun. I've been working, working every day for, on, on the trip, buying stuff, uh, experimenting with stuff, you know, repairing stuff, sewing, sewing holes and, and stuff, you know, that from years ago that when I used to go uh, backpacking, you know, that I ripped and never repaired it, you know, and <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's brutal, man, but I am looking forward to, um, to doing some camping and it'll get me away from, uh, from all the, the, the uh, people and everything and get out and hike some new trails. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I've done this trail before, and uh, but you can see it's a, it's really in good shape. Uh, so that's just it, just a brief talking video. Um, you know, uh, I I got a weed around the house, uh, got to clean them rain barrel. Um, 
I uh, of course put the toilet back together hopefully I'll get that done tonight uh, with those washers that I just bought at Ace Hardware yeah it's always the little little crap right it's always that one screw <laughs> that you don't have that really messes you up when you're doing a project you know all uh, right so anyway that's it uh busting out onto the the area here let's just let you get a look at the trail and this is why i said they've, they've been maintaining it look at this let me get this adjusted there we go so uh you know this grass is it's a little long but not too bad you know this is this has been cut you know that's what i'm saying that's why i said this trail they've been through and they've maintained it so it's definitely hikeable probably from now until uh may i would say so if you want to come out this is probably well it's one of my favorite sections of the florida trail and it's within striking distance of my house it's very close by and uh, that's why i love coming here and uh and doing this trail Plus, you can see all them people. They're everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I, hopefully, not too many people in Central Florida are going to watch my videos because uh, then they'll learn about this. And uh, I would much rather hike this than hike that paved trail at the Santos or hike the paved trail at Baseline or even the Florida Trail through Baseline. Uh, this is a much better hike. And, uh, boy, the trees. It's been a while since I've been here. But look at this. The trees are coming up. This, did, I tell you, this used to just be kind of like an open pasture. Uh, but man, I tell you right now, this is really looking really nice. I like it a lot. I and mean, as these trees get bigger, even this section of the trail is going to be great. All right, so uh, let's do uh, let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida, where we have no vax mandates, no mask requirements, and we are free to work and do what we need to survive by decree of the great Governor DeSantis. Florida Trail, because it is going to get dark on me again, because uh, I got a late start. Uh, but I uh, wanted you to, the, the beauty is, is that, you know, I could just hike right up through this park and get back on the main road and get back to my car. So, you know, there'll be plenty of light. So, you know, you don't have to hike the, you know, hike the, in the forest if you don't want to. You can always just uh, go right along the road there. Just wanted to add that to the video. Quick look at the trail. You can see they've been through. See, that's fresh paint. That is fresh paint on these trees. And I... Uh, that's why that's why I like this section. I mean, it's well maintained, and uh, you're good to go if you live in Central Florida from now until uh, May of uh, 2022. If you want to come out and do this trail, I'm really enjoying it. I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is this is what you have to do, and they did it. You know, um, you got it. They rerouted the trail over to here. It used to cut down through here, but that was washed out. So look at it. It's reclaiming. And you know, I've done that at uh, Silver Springs. And uh, anyway, just getting a brief addition. Along, <laughs> I learned more and more about California. Hey, California, look at here. We have fire breaks here in uh, Florida. <laughs> and it goes on this way. So I uh, just wanted to show that on the video. So I'm listening to uh, Mark Levin, and he's talking about uh, why we are having huge supply chain issues. And once again, it's the Democrats. Uh, They've, uh, they've basically shut down the independent truckers in uh, California with a 2020 law that says that uh, they can't drive. Of course, they were catering to the unions. Uh, but I did want to get this on the video. You can see that this is in need of a bit of work. And uh, I may turn around because when you brush up against these plants with, with just the shorts on, you know, you can, get, uh, you can get the wood ticks and stuff. It's still, still not winter yet. So I'm going to turn around right here. Uh, so I was wrong about some of the trail. It hasn't, no trail crew has been up in here for a while. And uh, so if I came up in here, I'd have to have my hiking pants on with my hiking shoes. Uh, well, we'll go on a ways further, you know, because uh, it's it supposedly, well, it used to just clear out right up here. And uh, what I do want to just show you the Central Floridians, the trail here. 
and back. So it's still in need of maintenance here. We'll see when, when they get it. I'm sure it'll be done by the time I get back from my trip. Peace out and stay free. Just wanted to see how the GoPro does <clears throat> as I trip over a stick because it's getting dark on. I'll be back shortly, so I won't be hiking in the dark today. But uh, let's see how it does. And I uh, almost forgot, I gotta, you know, I think I gotta change the mantra just a little more. Because if you're a Democrat, go to California, because you're gonna be welcome there. That's a Democrat state, or move to New York, because you'll be welcome there. But don't come to Florida. Please don't come to Florida.